any economic analysis to the measure and the impact of potential even job losses and furloughs because of your decision to pause this pending arms sale. We were really, really sad to hear the Congresswoman say that she thought that there was a halt or a pause in the sending of these JDAMs that are made in her district to Israel that are used to kill so many people. And she was making an equivalency between, we have to speed that up and make sure that these get sold and sent to Israel because they're creating jobs yeah. and they're affecting things like so, child care for our workers. Yeah. And, and the people who are the victims are children. They're the ones who are being killed by these munitions. We don't want children killed and mutilated with our tax money and having our representatives say, well, it's the only way we can give jobs. Can't you be a little more creative to think of some jobs that would actually help people? Absolutely. That's what we need, right? 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 We want yeah. solar yeah. jobs, like solar electric panels, cars, solar yeah. panels, electric cars, things that are good for I mean, people, not things that are going to kill people. Bombs. We're not supposed to cause a famine with an entire population children, they're getting cuts in their feet and dying of sepsis. 19,000 orphans. And, yeah, and she's saying, you know, that these are the only, like, these are the only jobs the only that jobs we, we can think the, of that, that are going to feed the families of people in her district. Come on, there's so many better ways for us to make a living. And it's a war economy. We don't want to live in a war economy. We want to live in a peace economy. We want good jobs. I am angry about this. These are human lives we're talking about. That is really gross. Thank message. you.